What is up, you guys, and thank you for joining for our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Descarender. And today we got ourselves a match against the Titan Atlas, other known as Richard. And he's one of those players that just gets me. What I mean by that is that he always plays in a way that is so counterproductive and very, very creatively against my team that uh, I honestly, I rarely beat this guy. And it is because he's such a smart player. And uh, he often uses stuff that are, uh, I, w I won't say weird, they are, the synergy in his team are always great, to be honest. And this team is no different. It's a very, very bulky team, for, to be honest. Uh, we got Swalot, which I've never seen in a live fight battle ever. Uh, Stoutland, which I have a huge respect for, uh, for obvious reasons, to be honest. It's very, very potent and hits hard. Uh, Tangela, one of those top tier in NU, it's... It's super strong, really, and it can bulk out whatever it means, really. Uh, dance bars, we know that's that either Glare or Thunder Wave, and then just uh, Headbutt to, to its heart's content, to be honest. Uh, we got Lesser Tear of Embor, um, or Lesser Evolution. Uh, it's very, very bulky, high HP, very tough to deal with. Uh, and Vanillox, which going to actually be able to take out every Pokemon on my team if I'm not playing my cards right, because it is actually able to do super effective damage against almost anything on my team besides the Noon and uh, Electric Eel. And my team alone, I mean, I use them the same time I've been using throughout the week. Uh, I only switch out Metang instead for Linoon, and that is because I mean, Metang was a little too wally, and when I did pull off wins, it was just a very slow game, to be honest, and it, it never looked pretty. So, much more aggressively noon here, plus I got the chance to uh, uh, play off the Guardians of the Galaxy theme a little bit more. So we got the groups and the rockets, so that'll do just fine. And other than that, it was actually a very, very close game, in the, to be honest. And uh, yeah, let's actually get into it. It was definitely one of those group ones. I loved it. And I'll actually start off with my seeking here at the beginning, because I thought that was a safe move. It is not. Because we got this thing, and it's of course it has its freeze dry, and even with my assault specs, that nearly kills me. Uh, so I do get the show specs off, and I decide to switch out and actually try to wall that out. So I'm gonna go into Levin just to take the freeze dry, which isn't gonna do anything. And he thought he was faster, so he was going to go for uh, a water pulse, but I am uh, scarfed, so I am able to outspeed, and uh, that is a huge threat out of the way. So here's the Stoutland, and uh, I pretty much have to sack Sea King, and this is so often Sea King just do a little, thing, a little, little magic basically, uh, and then just die, and <laughs> this battle is no <laughs> different. So anyway, I'm pretty sure it's banded. Uh, I won't because of the retaliate. It could be like I didn't see the life pool, so I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance. But the thing is, I'm not gonna against a Swallowed ever. And I really felt that I don't want to risk it in case he got the Sludge Bomb because I'm defensively not specially defensive. So he's gonna go for Stockpile. And at this point I was just like, oh no, he's gonna wall himself up. Uh, I basically just have to go for Stone Edge here. And um, looking at the damage here, uh, I do miss the first one. Of course, he gets fully set it off with the Stockpiles. But looking at, the, looking at the damage here, I know that we're in for a ride here basically. Uh, so he's gonna go for a rest, I thought it was a little, a little weird, uh, but then it will show me that he got Belch, which is a move that can only be used once a berry has been um, has been eaten, basically. So, But it won't prove to do too much damage, though. I'm actually able to wall that out real nicely. So he knows by this range that I just need to have a critical hit to be able to take it out. So he's gonna go with this Tangela, which is more than enough to deal with a Sudowoodo, to be honest. And of course I don't do anything here, and uh, I really saw my best bet being to bring Tropius yet again. In case it goes for um, Sleep Powder or anything like that, I can actually be able to wall that out. And um, really at this point I was hoping for him to force the switch, so I was actually going to Rocket, my Linoon. Hoping they will go into something that was more comfortable, um, like his Swallowed, but no, he stays in. So I'm gonna risk it and go for Belly Drum, and then get the Citrus going. Hope that I can actually survive. Uh, a Giga Drain at this point, and well, he has Sleep Powder, so fuck it. <laughs> so I should definitely stay in with my um, Tropius at that point, but well, I was hoping for a first turn wake, and Giga Drain's actually proven to be enough with a crit to take me out. So a little frustrating, yeah, but then again, uh, it would have become an incredible match if it came because of that. So anyway, I'm just, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna straight away for a flamethrower. He's gonna bring his lesser evolution of the T-Pig 
and uh, or the Embor, I cannot remember his name. Nevertheless, of course, it's gonna be able to wall me out because this thing is super bulky actually with Evil Eye, and it got a huge chunk of HP. And it's gonna show me the power punch, and that is not gonna do well here, is it? So, going for a flame charge because I didn't think he's gonna outspeed, he did that really nicely. And a Thunderbolt will not be able to take him out, of course. And we go for the Flame Charge. And I actually lived this one. Um, don't know the mid-max there. But anyway, a Thunderbolt will not be able to take him out. So a Power Punch will definitely destroy me. So I'm going into my Sudowood at this point. Because I really felt that Sucker Punch might be my best bet here to take him out. And uh, yeah, not enough. Not enough. And the Power Punch is not able to take me out, but he got a Super or a Sucker Punch on its own, so he's gonna end up Sucker Punch my Sucker Punch. Yeah, get your head around that. So, anyway, I'm going into Levin here, which also got Sucker Punch, and this proves that even though he went for a Sucker Punch here, that I am still able to outspeed, so... He doesn't get to sweep me at this point, at least, so... It, the battle is definitely not over, and um, I have nothing to switch into this. So I'm just gonna sack this guy off, because I only got Tropius left, so I am not in a good position. He got four pokes left, and uh, the only thing I can do here is try to set up some Dragon Dance, and just try to live. So I know by this point that this is Choice Band, and consider the damage. So I survived the first Retaliate, but sadly, guys, the next Retaliate is coming, and... I do live, but the sad part is that even after this Dragon Dance, I'm not entirely sure I can outspeed and go for rest. So, I basically just pray into the higher gods, please, for Odin, Freya, give me strength to outspeed this beast of a poke. And, um, I am so lucky. I pull off the rest, and I am actually able here to, um, <laughs> actually recover. And being that I got two Dragon Dance up, which means that I am able to outspeed him, I'm going to just keep going at it, because there is no reason for me to stop trying to wall him out. I, so I'm just going to do my very best here and actually try to pull this off. But he's definitely seeing that he won't do enough damage. He's going to switch into his Noodle Soup. I'll just keep setting up, basically. And um, Asian Power will not prove to be enough from a Tendula. I'm actually going to wall it out really well here. And uh, I'm able to go yet for another rest. So now my Tropius is definitely fully invested in um, just going for that beautiful sweep. So yeah, Asian Power, like I said, definitely doesn't do anything. I get to Harvest first turn and I'm able to go for Nature Power if I wanted to. Uh, but I'm just going to go for just for another Dragon Dance because why the hell not, basically. So now I'm actually forced. I can't risk taking up Bells from this guy. And uh, yeah, nature power is definitely enough, or nature gift is definitely enough to take it out. And I go for leaf plate here, and that is a one shot too. So yeah, trench bull's coming in, and there's nothing he can do either. Leaf plate will destroy him. And um, I'm actually gonna say this: there is a reason uh, Tangela is such an overused Pokemon and never used because it is able to take that, um, take that <laughs> na nature. Nature Gift attack without a doubt. I actually forced to do two to be able to take it out. Uh, so basically, that was GG. Uh, really, thank you, Richard, for this battle. It was definitely a close one, and I enjoyed it a lot. I was so sure I was gonna lose there. That moment when uh, my he Heatmore actually outspeeded your lesser evolution of Embor was definitely the nail in the coffin for me, because I would not be able to take that one out, because Flame Shot would have destroyed my Tropius, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this spell as much as I did. I mean, there was definitely an incredible match, and I really felt that we both got to showcase our teams. And uh, it was just luck that really made it. Um, Mid-max there on Tropius with the Retaliate was definitely a decisive point. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad to see Tropius pulling through. Uh, that's really nice. Of course, it, it has limits, and uh, it definitely needed both the... Um, that Fire Pig out of the way, and of course uh, Vanillox to actually be able to do anything, considering how easy it is to kill it. Uh, so, basically I just wanted to say thank you Richard yet again for this battle, it was definitely one of those good ones, I'm gonna cherish it a lot in the future. And uh, to everybody else who's been watching, uh, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember guys, the sky is the limit, so have a good day, alright? Take care! Bye!